Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer. A link for the Lucid Simmer's channel and the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. I always have all of my series with a playlist in the description and also on the end card for anyone wondering. I did have a couple of comments asking for where is the playlist and I sometimes forget to mention that in my intros. So if I don't mention it, it's just for every single series that I have. It's always in the description. So anyway, we're following May's child. So May was the second generation and she's just having something to eat and going about her day. But right now we're actually working with Adora. So Adora is a musician she likes to play the guitar and she wants to be famous and she's taking a bath right now. So we might not want to focus on her so we don't get demonetized. So anyway, um, we're just trying to go to a different location and a different world every week or every day. And we're picking them at random. So today is Sunday and sometime around noon, maybe 1 p.m., she starts going out because she basically sleeps in because she was up all night and she went to prom yesterday and she got a boyfriend but she also had too much nectar to drink so when she came back she was basically passed out and we did get a workout room and oh i see you're using the new workout room adora and i didn't even ask you to okay well I thought that this was a nice place for a home gym because it's right at the entrance way. So it's not too private. I don't know if I would want to make this a bedroom. So Adora has made this place into a gym. And the reason why she has done that, or I have done that, is that because she has the junk food fiend lifestyle. And she actually did get it this morning when she got up and she ate something. She actually has the junk food fiend lifestyle accomplished now. So we can mark that off of our goals. Some of our other goals are to marry someone that we meet while we're playing so we do have a boyfriend now and his name is richard we did have another love interest briley but i am going to disqualify her from the running because unfortunately we met her a different time and i don't know oh and he, richard is calling us now and he wants to go on a date to a bar Sure, we'll, we'll go on a date before we go to our regularly scheduled place to play music. That's fine. And hello, Richard. How are you doing today? So we've come here to this bar, and we also need to get our mixology skill to level 10. So we're only at level 5 right now. And I have discovered that on these dates, you need to converse with them and you basically have to do almost everything that you do for a normal date and, and if you don't get several happy messages or notifications then the date didn't go very well the person won't really like you it'll actually ruin your romance bar too so anyway as i was saying i am eliminating briley from the running because you know she might be a love interest while we're a teenager but she can't be the one that we end up with because oh richard just vanished richard oh come on i know that happens sometimes but why he just disappeared when i was talking to him that is annoying well we're gonna go back home Okay, we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. Sometimes I write that into the story, but to be honest, it is just a glitch. The Sims does that sometimes. At like, Actually, The Sims does that a lot of times. So basically what happens is someone asks you out to a date or a party, and when you get there, they're there for a little while, but then all of a sudden they just leave. And I didn't even see him leave. He just vanished. So I'm not too sure why that happens. Because I actually have my game set up to allow 
more than the normal amount of Sims on the lot. And also Richard is a teenager. So I don't think that he has a job or anything that would cause him to leave all of a sudden like that. So we're just going to ignore that. But anyway, as I keep trying to say, the reason why I am eliminating Briley from the running is because we didn't immediately have a connection with her the first time that we met her. And so I'm not sure if we met her just because she was invited to one of our costume parties or if she actually tipped us the first time that we met her and the story with Adora is that she meets someone while she's playing music that is interested in her music and then they just get along together so what I'm doing to play that out is when she goes out to bars and places like that and plays her music she plays the guitar and anyone who tips her if I go and talk to that person and find either a compatibility with that person or she gets a crush on them as a teenager, then it has to happen the very first time that they meet. Then we're going to consider that person in the running. And once she becomes a young adult and it's time for her to decide who she gets married to, then we will pick one of those people. Okay, Adora, you're just watching TV now. We're going to see where we're going for today. Okay, and so we spin the wheel, and what location are we going to today? This is for the world that we're going to visit. Ooh, Sulani. It was almost Strangerville. So we're going to go to Sulani. Okay, and then we're going to see what lot we are going to visit. I have filled all of the empty lots and not going to go to the spa. Okay, that's a shame. We're going to the sandbar, which is a little ordinary, but that's how it goes. Okay, it looks like we're not going to roll for the event that we are going to have because the only events you can have at a bar are a birthday party and a spooky party that we have not had yet and actually we've already had a birthday party so the only events that you can have at a bar we've had all of them except for the spooky party so we're going to actually have the spooky party at that bar no adora you're not going to be a llama i'm sorry i'm going to be to that one <laughs> Okay, so I also have a mod that allows me to choose more costumes than you can normally choose. And let's see, I'm not sure what kind of costume she would like to be. Oh, yeah, that's right. She wants to be a world famous celebrity. So let's pick something along that line. I don't see all of the costumes that I normally see. So maybe it doesn't help this particular costume party interaction. I think it just helps the holiday when you have trick-or-treating and uh, candy and things like that. Well, I don't know what this one is. Let me see what that one looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I should have known that. Okay, I'm just going to do what I did at the incognito costume party and dress her in one of her formal outfits. So she's not technically wearing a costume now one of the things that i didn't realize that you could do at these parties is you could actually ask someone else to carve a pumpkin and you only need to carve two so if you have two pumpkin carving stations at least then just ask your guests to do it for you oh she gave me a trick not a treat she zapped me with a hand buzzer and Adora did not appreciate that. Oh, it looks like they'll also autonomously go carve a pumpkin as long as there isn't a pumpkin currently sitting on one of the stations. And for some reason, Adora has this fear of being cheated on. So she wants to talk over her relationship fears with Richard. I don't know how this will go, especially since Richard is feeling uncomfortable. Okay, it looks like it went well. And she put herself forward and opened a line of communication. So she's not over the fear, but maybe another day she can get over that fear. All right.
I don't like that one because she got it immediately as soon as they started going out, which was kind of annoying. Well, we can't really get another crush right now. At least it would be kind of impolite to do so. Let's try tending bar. Okay, she was able to talk over her relationship fears again. And it hasn't been that long, maybe a couple of hours. That would be kind of annoying if someone tried to do something like that twice in the same day, I think. Well, it seemed to have worked. Did she get over her fear? I don't see it. I guess she did. The bartender is gone. Where is the bartender? I was tending a bar outside, and then the bartender seems to disappear. Oh, she's sitting down. Okay. Well, that's one way to get the mixologist to leave her post so that I can take over making drinks. The only problem is she seems to sit there and practice making drinks, but not really make any drinks. I see people ordering them, but then she just kind of ignores it and keeps practicing. Is it actually getting your mixology skill up? No. Okay, there we go. She's just taking her sweet time to do anything. Okay, quit practicing and just make a drink for someone. There we go. Now she's making a drink. Because when she gets stuck on practice and she's not pouring, it stops giving her credit for practicing. And that's kind of annoying. She's also hungry again. I think maybe what we'll do is try to make these events last until at least 2 a.m., maybe 3 a.m. Oh, and we actually got paid this time. That has been bugged lately. So for some reason, I guess only one bar on the lot maybe is credited with being able to earn money at it. And if you're not at, oops, if you're not at that one bar, then you don't earn any money. As I was saying, though, we'll try to make the events run until about 3 a.m., at, at least until 3 a.m., depending on when she gets tired. And after that, we'll go home and sleep, take care of her needs. And then in the morning when she wakes up, she needs to do at least one round on the treadmill on the exercise machine maybe a treadmill run maybe a yoga session and hopefully that will keep her from getting too heavy i mean i don't really want her to be really overweight because i know that the sims it doesn't really matter but it's just annoying when your sims are always fat <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. I don't mind one or two of them being fat if it fix, fits their character. But it's just annoying when they're all like that, no matter what you do. And since she's trying to be a world famous celebrity, and even though she is a junk food fiend, I'm going to say that she tries to keep herself in shape because she's trying to put forth that stereotypical stage presence, you know? I mean, I don't condone that, but we're just going to go with that because that's what most of the teenagers are pressured to be like. And so she's doing it in a sort of healthy way and that she's not being too harsh on her diet. She's just exercising in order to work off the extra weight. Okay, and it is 3 a.m. and we keep having trouble with this practice making drinks thing. So I think we're going to call this a success and go home. Well, May is now a proper celebrity. She only needed to become a B-lister, but somehow we got all the way up to proper celebrity. I guess it was from all of the posting videos because every time you do, you get a huge chunk of fame. Okay, for Monday, we go to a new world, and which world will that be? Close one, Tartosa. Okay, and which lot in Tartosa are we going to visit? Okay, it looks like this time we are going to a spa and yoga lot. I don't remember where I downloaded this one. This one was already in the game. And all we can do at a spa is have a slumber party. I mean, that's the only event you can host there, which is kind of weird, but that's what we're going to do.
Okay, we're here at Spa and Yoga by Zaka Maniac. It's on the gallery. And I think we've been here before. We actually came here during Adora's childhood. So we've already seen it if you've seen the other episodes. But just in case you haven't, it's got a yoga studio up on top. And then there's the pool and the bar. And then downstairs, there's the massage tables and chairs. And this is a pretty nice lot. I liked it. So I left it here in my world. And I didn't realize that we were visiting the same place twice. But that's okay. This time we're a teenager and we're going to tend the bar. And then later on, maybe play some guitar. Well, I guess since we're at a yoga studio, no one wants to come and order any drinks at the bar. I mean, Briley's talking to us, but she's not ordering any drinks. Maybe we'll just do a little bit of yoga. I'm not sure if yoga will make you lose weight, but it definitely gets you more toned. So you can gain muscle by doing yoga in The Sims. And I think it does help a little bit with losing weight. Since there isn't any counter or oven in this place, we'll just have to order some slumber party snacks. It actually gives it to you for free. Well, no one is paying attention to the bar, but will someone come and tip Adora? Who knows? Is anybody going to come to the pool and listen to us play? Probably not. I started a club gathering, so hopefully... That makes them come over here and either listen to my music or get some drinks at the bar. Okay, he seems to be listening. Why is everybody sad? Adora, is your playing making everyone sad? I mean, it looked like Richard was sad and I know Alexander was sad, but then again, Alexander is gloomy. So that might be why he's sad. Or was it Cassandra that's gloomy? I forget. I think it's Cassandra that's gloomy. I forget if Alexander is gloomy or not. Oh, Adora does like guitar. Why did I never check off that she likes guitar before? I mean, she wants to do guitar. I don't know why I didn't set that as a like before. Okay, can we make some drinks for the group? At least this gets our mixology up, even though we have to pay for the drink when we do it this way. Oh, and now he's asking for a drink. Oh, he wanted chips. Okay, Alexander is a vegetarian and a recycle disciple. I didn't think that the... Oh, and now she has a crush on Alexander. Well, Alexander is not an option because we did not meet him as part of our music. I know he's part of the club, but we did not meet him from him tipping us. She chats with everyone and gets a crush on them. It's just kind of annoying when it happens that way. I can't wait for the attraction system in the new expansion pack. I hope it's a little bit more selective than the way the crushes work in the high school years pack. No, you're not going to sit at the pool. Okay, if one of your guests doesn't bring a sleeping bag like Richard, he forgets every single time. This is the second time he didn't have a sleeping bag. You can just buy one and build by and put it on the floor and he will sleep in it. Okay, I think we're just going to head home now because it's already 1 p.m. and the sleeping bag is just not great energy gain. Why does Adora have this rude awakening from lazy trait? Never wake up a lazy sim. Never. Well, maybe she woke up someone who was lazy because they were sleeping at the slumber party. It's kind of strange, though. Maybe one of her friends has a lazy trait. Well, it's either Ezra or Case or possibly Abigail. This is actually a really good setup to have treadmills and then a big movie screen. Oh, May. Oh, Adora, you fell. Why do I keep calling her May? 
Every time I have a legacy challenge, I have issues when going to the next generation. I tend to call the new legacy heir by the old heir's name, and I just can't figure out how to keep from calling her May. Her name is Adora. Okay, Ezra wants to hang out at a nightclub. We just get random calls sometime. I guess we'll just go with the flow this time and let someone else pick the event. Now, the one bad thing about community lots is that I can't add bacon or sugar to the meals because it seems like every time I try to, she puts the plate down and it disappears. Now, maybe we can do it while we're eating it. Let's see, if you cancel eating it... Oh, okay. I think it only applies if, for some reason, you're off of the lot. Okay, if you're on the lot, it should be fine. And why can't I add anything to it? I guess it's because it's on the bar and it's... Oh, this guy was sitting in front of it. I don't know. And here's Isaiah again. Yeah, I deleted all the ghosts from my game, hoping it will make less lag. So I did not delete Isaiah and Latasha because they're the founders and I want to keep all of the family ghosts in the game. So unfortunately, we're going to see them show up a lot at the outings where ghosts show up. Okay, Adora is going to try out her guitar at this place and see if anybody's interested. Well, we get tips. I also set up a second bar over here by the main bar. And we're going to make some drinks if someone orders some. Okay, who ordered the wrench? I forgot. Yet. And I think she got busy talking to someone, so the person must have given up and left. <laughs> Why are you ordering from outside the building? That should not be possible. Alright, someone picked it up at least. Okay, it looks like our club friends ditched us, but really, I think they just went home for the night. It's only 12.45, but... Maybe we'll go home early this time so that we can actually work out tomorrow morning. Actually, we're not even tired, so we should probably get in a run before bedtime. Okay, apparently playing chess does not count as a mental skill. And Trevor and May are both starting to burn out, so I need a mental skill for Trevor. Oh, dancing did bring down his creative fog a little bit. Let's see if playing video games does that. No, playing video games does not count as a mental skill, I guess. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll just have him jog on the treadmill. Does he like working out? I can't remember if he's one that doesn't like working out. Oh, he does like fitness. Okay, so he likes dancing. He likes fitness. I have a little bit of bad news. I keep getting messages that some of my animals are getting on in years. And it's mainly the rodents. I think Sonic. And also some of my chickens. So Tupac is getting on in years. And all of these chickens are from the Cluck Ship Voyager. So we have Tupac. Cluck O'Day. Rom Terrace, and my hens went away. I can't see where they went, but I know I have Wrath Hen in there somewhere. And I don't remember the names of the other two because they went in the house and I can't see them anymore. Oh, there we go. It's Belle Hannah and Hen Vin Devine. I forget what that one is referencing. I remember all the other ones, but I forget that one. Okay, so media production also does not count to counteract mental fog. I guess I'm just going to have to have her mix music tapes. I think that actually works. Okay, yeah, using the Mix Master music station will get rid of mental fog. Well, today is actually Winterfest, so where are we going to go and celebrate the holiday? Mount Kumurabi. That is interesting. 
I don't think that we should do a mountain excursion, though. Hopefully we don't get that event. Okay, and now we'll pick a lot to go to. I downloaded some lots into the game. Oh, and looks like we're going to take a vacation. So, 512 Kiyomamatsu. Kiyomatsu. Okay, sorry. I sometimes don't have time to look up every single word in this game to try and pronounce it correctly. So, this is a vacation rental, which means we will go on vacation probably with the whole family since it is Winterfest. Okay, and these are the events that we haven't had yet. So it looks like we're going to have a pool party in Mount Komarabi in the middle of winter. That sounds like fun. Now, in order to combat the problem of being in a winter area and having a pool party, we put steam vents at the bottom of the pool and also a thermostat with an indoor pool. Okay, don't get out. You need to socialize while swimming. No, no, go here. It's really hard to socialize while swimming because for some reason, if you select someone and say something to them, they immediately get out. Okay, let's see if we can make everyone a sea of fire. I know it's probably not a warm drink, but at least it'll be semi-warm. A lot of the drinks at the bar are made with ice, and they really don't have any options for hot drinks. All right, let's see how this goes. We're getting everyone in the room to open presents. I usually don't try it with this many people. That went surprisingly well. I think everyone opened a gift, and Adora is opening hers now. We got a all-in-one powerful PC. And May got something she didn't like. A future cube. Yeah, they don't like the future cubes for some reason, but they are quite handy because they're worth a little bit of money. And Trevor got a Tea Magic Personal Brewer. Okay, that's something, I guess. And the... The pool party didn't last very long, to be honest. All right, well, they're almost finished. Okay, now for Thursday, which world are we going to visit? Looks like Brightchester. Well, we could have a university keg party in Brightchester. Okay, now let's see what lot we're going to visit in Brightchester. And we're going to go to the bar, Pepper's Pub. Now, technically, you can't participate in a coffee party if you're a teenager. But we can just socialize with the guests. But even though we can't drink any kava, it's fine. We're just working on Adora's mixology skill here. She actually got to level six now. And there's so many people. I wonder if she's got that uncomfortable buff. Yeah, she does. Okay. So if we're funny with three different sims, we can get rid of that fear. Okay, we got rid of the fear, and now we're continuing to mix drinks. If you're tending the bar, you can actually select what drink you want to make, and it will charge you for it. But then when you place it down, I think it gives you money. It did the last couple of times I placed a drink down. Yeah, I got 18 simoleons, and that was a really expensive drink, though. It was more than 18 simoleons to make. Okay, if no one is going to drink this expensive drink, I'm going to drink it. My other drinks, other people came and just snatched them. Well, I don't think there are any new teen fans here. Most of them I already know. So we won't be able to get any new love interests from our guitar playing. And to be honest, I don't think it's very nice to try to get someone else to flirt with when we have Richard as our boyfriend. So we might just have to wait on that. And there's nothing in the rules that say that Adora needs to immediately click with someone when she introduces herself during a concert. But the thing is that I can't keep track of who she has met doing what. So I want to make sure that it's someone she meets while she's playing her music and that person seems to like her music. And there's a lot of teens here that she already knows for some reason that I'm not really sure where she met. It's like she immediately knows who they are once they come on the lot in their teen. Although I probably have introduced myself to quite a few of these people in other situations and just forgot about them. 
Okay, why did Adora step into the spotlight? That is bugged. She should not be a one-star celebrity. All right, we're going to have to fix that. Why did that happen? Yeah, she's still staying out of the spotlight, and somehow she became a one-star celebrity. Okay, come on, guys. That's a bug. Okay, if that happens, you just have to step into the spotlight and step back out of the spotlight so that she loses all of her fame. That is going to be really annoying if I have to do that a lot. Okay, what world are we going to visit today? On Friday, we're going to Tomarang. So maybe we'll do something different this time. I think if we get May to start the event, we can actually do a charity event or a celebrity meet and greet, which is actually something that Adora might have attended. So let's see what lot in Tomarang we're going to. Okay, there's actually only four lots that we can go to, and we're going to go to the Fire Temple, which is actually a museum. Okay, I think the Black and White Bash is the only event that we have not thrown at a museum. I think you can also th throw a charity event and maybe the celebrity meet and greet, but those would have to be done through May. So we'll do the black and white bash this time. And everyone is actually wearing black and white. They changed their clothes. So this is not an outfit that Adora owns, but it actually looks pretty cute on her. Um, can't say the same for May, not loving that dress. But I guess it is black and white. And Trevor, you look so handsome in that white shirt and black tie. Okay, so this is the Fire Temple by Amber Lasno 170. It's on the gallery if you're interested. And I will put that in the description in case you want to know how to spell it. Because I may not be saying it right. So anyway, we do have a full kitchen in here already. I had to add the bar for some reason. There's no bar in a museum. I mean, there's a living room and everything else, but I did not see a bar. And for some reason, there's a book on the floor. That's kind of interesting. Right next to the fireplace where it might catch on fire. Yeah, thanks. And then we go upstairs. And there's a bedroom here with another bathroom and some kind of little dressing area over here. And we also have a grill and an outdoor table and a reading nook. But this is all accessible through ladders, except for the one that stairs that goes up to the first floor. Then you go upstairs again to a chess room. And I guess a little sitting area right here. And then this is so sad. I don't know if I get this really, but in the tower, there is a bunk bed with a little stuffed animal, which I assume this is a kid's room. That's kind of weird for the kid to be stuck in the tower, but I guess, I mean, I don't know what the fire temple is in reference to, but you can go upstairs through the ladders or you can take the stairs and they all end in different places. So you have to go through the ladders to get to the office and to get to the kids room, which is kind of annoying. Okay, apparently baking black and white cookies is done through the cooking skill, not baking. It's kind of confusing like that. Sims is weird. No, Trevor, you're not going to tend the bar. Adora is going to tend the bar, even though she's hungry. Okay, it's... It's hard to figure out what is discussing colors or black and white stuff because it's kind of hidden in there. It's talking about zebra fizz, talking about newspapers, and they're not labeled. It's just annoying, actually. Okay, we did a little bit of mixology, so we're halfway through level six. Now we're going to play some guitar. How are we doing in our guitar skill? Level 8, that's not too bad. I think we'll eventually max it out. So we will become a very good guitar player, just never get any fame for it. So Adora wants to go out on tour and basically play at huge concerts and become famous. 
And all she ever ends up doing is playing small gigs, earning a few bucks here and there with tips, and then owning her own music store. So I will probably be building the music store sometime on Sunday, this coming Sunday. And I'm going to have a live stream and give away some memberships. So if anybody is listening to everything and paying attention, then I'd rather those people show up for the live stream and get the memberships versus it randomly going to people who interact with the channel. So that will be at noon on Sunday after this video comes out. And it's Eastern time zone. And Adora is feeling very flirty, and Richard looks really nice in a suit. He does have a white jacket, which isn't quite as nice as the black jackets, but it's an interesting choice for him. Oh, I can actually order food from Trevor, and it's free because it's night on the town. Does this get my night on the town task done? It does. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we need a coffee maker in here. May needs some coffee. Okay, she's giving Alexander a rose. Um, May, you know you can't flirt with Alexander. He is not an option. Oh no, the chickens are starting to go. I... Yeah, I don't like this, but I left the animal aging on because we can't have these animals forever. And Adora is no longer a child, so she's not interested in keeping pets. So we will take care of the ones that we have, but unfortunately, they will pass on. Sorry about the chickens. I think today maybe we'll have a little break and have a house party. So Adora will throw a house party for the new year and she'll play her guitar here on her own stage. Oh, that's right. Prom. Okay, well, we'll try to get prom to work. And if prom doesn't work, then maybe we'll have a party at the house. Uh, no, Alexander, we are not going to the romance festival with you. I'll just ignore that call and pretend he didn't call. Okay, I did rebuild the lot, so hopefully prom will work this time. We'll see. Fire! What? It's 7 o'clock! It's supposed to be time for prom! Why? Ugh. This is going to ruin it. I'm not going to get the prom invite now. There's no way. Put the fire out. Well, you ruined my prom. Thank you very much. Miss Cannot Cook and was trying to make grilled cheese. There was already a plate of grilled cheese sitting right there. Ten left. And they decided to cook another one. Great. I guess I'll try going to prom and seeing if it's there, but it probably won't be. And there is no prom. I did accidentally travel here in a group, but I don't think that matters. I guess we'll have to go home. This is the first time that Adora has really played on her own stage at home. Now, I probably need to make this a little bit bigger because her busking station won't fit on it really. Although, I don't really need to play for tips, so it's fine as long as she positions herself properly. It's just sometimes hard to get her to do that. And I put this radio here just because it looks like a huge amp. And everybody is watching TV downstairs, and no one is watching Adora play her guitar. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, that's really how it's supposed to turn out, but it is kind of sad. All right, Adora, why don't you give up and go downstairs and at least talk to your friends? Um, what is that sound? Is that the TV? No. 
What was that sound for? I have no idea. Usually that's because something odd is happening. Um, maybe... Yeah, I have no idea why that sound happened. I'm clueless. Okay, well, anyway, it's the new year. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. Trevor is being abducted. That's what it was. Trevor got abducted by aliens. I knew that sounded familiar, but I couldn't figure out why. Oh, no, he better not get pregnant. They're only supposed to have one kid. Well, see you next time.